My name is John Carippo, and I'm here today to talk about uh, a new kind of professional development for teachers called Q Rockstar. Um, a few years ago, I was working uh, as a regular classroom teacher, and I got a neat upgrade to work at the local county office. And uh, when I got that upgrade, I basically, my job was to become a professional conference goer. I was going to conferences probably every other week, if not every week. And I really started to notice the pattern in my brain of how I was getting constantly overwhelmed with information and I would end up with that, uh, you know, that cool bag, the cool colorful bag full of handouts. And um, I realized that I, I was really only, my metric had gotten down to, I wanna try to remember one cool thing each day and one thing that I would never do each day. So flash forward a couple years, I'm at a brand new high school and we have a fabulous facility in the Central Sierra. And um, I said to myself, I should throw a conference. This sounds like fun, um, but I wanna do it differently. So when, we, when I started planning it, uh, I, I really reflected on all the things that were and weren't effective uh, in the conferences that I've been at. And you know, the classic conference format is gonna be uh, you know, eight to 3.30 or four. Uh, we're gonna have like a chicken and rice lunch of some sort. Um, 45 minute sessions, lots of sit and get. Uh, and so we invented what we call uh, back channel to entertain ourselves while we're getting our sit and get. So um, I was able to reach out to an organization in California um, that is the ISTE affiliate there called Q. Um, used to be called Computer Using Educators, but now it's just Q. Um, and uh, Q was really supportive and they handled all my registration and insurance stuff to get it off the ground. So it was a really uh, grassroots uh, kind of thing. And uh, I invited 10 of my very, very best friends who are all um, either an Apple Distinguished Educator or a Google Certified Teacher or um, you know, a notable educational personality that I might know. And I challenged them to each invite about 10 of their friends. So the first Q Rockstar was born and uh, I, I gotta check this, but I think it was 2009. I, it's happening kind of in a blur. So I, for, I, I don't know the exact timeline, but about six years ago. Um, and it was amazing because what we did was we changed the complete format of what the conference would be. Uh, the first thing was we started late. We didn't even start our sessions until 9.30. Uh, and the logic there was, hey, it's summer. Uh, let's kick it. Let's, let's be in a better mood when we start. Let's not all drag in at eight. Um, the next thing we did was we had what are called shred sessions. And uh, each one of the 10 faculty members got about two minutes. Uh, and, and I say about because it varies. Sometimes we make it one minute. Sometimes we make it two. But there's basically a hard clock. You have to um, get up in front of all the attendees and do a quick like ignite pachaka cha kind of session to entice people to come to your session and it is competitive and part of the logic there was that you know when you read a blurb at a conference you can't always tell if that's the session you really want to go to and sometimes for me I've missed sessions because the, I didn't interpret the blurb well or I didn't know the personality so these have turned into this crazy carnival that uh, we heckle each other, we interrupt each other, we, uh, we run timers to make sure that nobody's cheating on their shred session. We've had people that have literally um, made a video of everybody else's shred session and then said, if you wanna know how to make a video of everybody's shred session, you should come to my shred session. So they're very cannibalistic and very fun, but what the attendees benefit from is they have a really, really good feel for what that, what that two hours is gonna be like. So once we get through the shred sessions, um, the rest of the day is pretty simple format. We do a two hour session that's hands on, we do a two hour lunch, and then we do another two hour session, and then we all go out because it's a very small group and typically between 30 and 50 of us will all make it to dinner somewhere. And uh, then we do, that, we do that for three days. So um, I came up with three days as a metric because five days is too long, just frankly it's too long. Um, and one day is not enough. So what's really amazing on these camps is by, by day three, we've really sort of become a road trip family. If you've ever been on a road trip with somebody you don't know or a cruise you don't know, that third day is when it really starts to shine. And um, it's really amazing because what we do is we take uh, two hour sessions. We actively, uh, when we recruit our faculty, we tell them that we are really looking at two main metrics. Uh, one is in your two hour session, if you're doing direct instruction, for more than about 10 minutes, you're probably not doing it right. Uh, the other metric we tell them is uh, when they apply to be faculty is we ask them, I just said tell, but now ask, 
um, we ask them, what skills will your attendees master? Which is really, really different than what ideas will you share? You know, a lot of time in professional development, you're listening to a professor or somebody who's done something and you're listening to just an endless string of ideas, idea, idea, idea. What's different at a rock star camp is when you come in, um, I'll give you an, e an easy example. Uh, when you come in, if you come into a session on Twitter, uh, within 10 minutes you'll have made a Twitter account as a group. Um, the faculty member is usually uh, moving around throughout the room. Um, they will give you 10 or 12 guaranteed people like a Diane Main or a Tammy Lind or an Andy Losick or um, who else would be a good one? Uh, Jennifer Roberts, um, you know, John Stevens, Matt Vaudry. They're going to give you 10 or 12 for sure guaranteed Twitter buddies and you're going to tweet them and then we're going to make a hashtag for the session. And the point is when you leave that two hour session, you haven't just heard about why Twitter is cool, you're actually in it, right? You're actually trolling hashtags. So imagine um, that in that Twitter session you've gone through and you've actually followed real people uh, made hashtags, used hashtags, searched out cool ed chats and things like that. So they leave as a functional user of Twitter. If you extend that to other tools like Google Docs or iMovie trailers or how to teach with an iPad or Edmodo or Schoology, um, three days of that is really powerful and it's really blown up. Um, so again, it's, it's three days, two hours, two hours for lunch when we have an unconference and that's when everybody just sits around and talks and it is a great time for relationship building. We do the other two hour session and then um, that's it for three days. So it's gone really crazy. We went from one camp at my school to having, um, we had about 15 camps this year all across the United States and uh, we are really excited about what this is doing for professional development. It's uh, created uh, dozens and dozens of Google certified teachers and quite a few Apple Distinguished Educators and really changed the way people have taught. So if you're interested in hosting a Q Rockstar uh, camp at your school or uh, your district, it costs nothing. All you have to do is go to q.org slash I want to rock and we will bring one to you.